Crazy Fangirl Shami here, you guys are having an amazing day. So today, we are going to be watching the season finale of season two of The Mandalorian. And oh, everybody has been very, very nervous for this episode. Um, just because like no one knows what's going to happen and a lot of theorizing has been going on. Um, it was released recently, I, I think by accident by Pedro, that Peyton Reed is directing this episode. So yeah, I'm excited. And nervous, just, oh, we're gonna jump straight into it because, like, I have so many thoughts and just, oh, but before that, just quickly, um, <laughs> I decided to get a little dressed up and do my colours, um, for Grogu <laughs> and hopefully we get to see him and also just, like, some of the colours were kind of, like, inspired by, like, the biscuits he ate in episode four, so, yeah, anyway, let's jump into this, but before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games, so without Without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Oh my god! Already? Oh, Dr. Pershing. How did they get location of him? Probably through all the coordinates. Of course Boba would get them. Oh my god, that's Luke Baines! What the heck? He's from Shadowhunters! The rescue! But the... The blurry, like, horns. Heck yeah, we're in for the rescue now, boys! Oh, what the heck? <gasps> Looks so cool. <gasps> Bo! Oh, so they are getting her help. Awesome! You are not a Mandalorian. Never said I was. Uh -oh. I belong to my father. Don't you mean your donor? Careful, princess. Girl! Moff Gideon is mine. Got it? Care what happens to him as long as it surrenders to me. Yes, girl, my queen. Just be careful in there. Oh, purpose so sweet. Deep down. Uh oh. Oh no. Already. Dude, even the what? It's like rhythmical. Guys, the show. Oh, Lord. Ah! Oh, my God. It looks so scary. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No. No, my God. Please, God. Oh, nice. He got it. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Oh, my God. Don't. Don't. His blood. Oh, I want. Was to study his blood. This child is extremely gifted. Oh no. And has been blessed with rare properties that have the potential to bring so they did take order the blood. back to the galaxy. Did they just mention, like, not by name, Palpatine? <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Ah! Oh yes. Yes, did. Fight him! Oh, what sort of move is that? Like a kickback? That's so cool! Oh! Ah! Oh my god! Dead's holding the dark saber! Ah! The dark saber. It belongs to you. Oh god! It must be won in battle. In order for her to wield the dark she would need to defeat you in combat. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, he's obviously gonna get away. I knew he would he wouldn't yeah, he was not gonna die this episode. Oh Grogu. No, because oh no, he's gonna take the kid again. <gasps> oh my god! X-Wing! X-Wing! Is that Luke? Is that Luke? Oh my god! Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, you gotta show us. <laughs> ah! It's Luke! Is that Luke? That's Luke! That's Luke! That's Luke! Oh, Luke! Is that... <laughs> That's Luke! That's Luke! <laughs> ah! Oh my god! 
monster. Oh my god, it's a bloody even- ah! Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Almighty! Oh my god! This is so dark, but I love it! Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh no. <laughs> oh wow, they did- CGI, I'm surprised. I didn't expect that. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh, no. No. oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> know each other oh my god they know each other they know each other This is everything I've ever wanted from Star Wars. <laughs> oh. um, it goes down to that major point of just like, I'm, I'm going off a bit of a tangent on you here, but Dave Filoni said it in the um, like behind the scenes thing and he went on a bit of a rant about the, the base of Everything with Star Wars is family, and whew, this season was magnificent. I've never, like, the emotions I felt, every episode was so unique, and just this episode was... Uh, it was so, so good. <sighs> oh, oh. God damn. Um, I just, yeah, we need to go back to the beginning. I just want to take a breather for a second. Amazing. I will say I was surprised by the fact that they went after Pershing before everything, but in a way I understand though, because that really did help with the plan. It would have been cool if they went unexpected into, like, without a plan. Not a plan, but without, like, knowing everything about this ship um and especially about the dark troopers like if they came in and then oh crap like dark troopers that would have been cool too but overall a magnificent episode went so quick this is what mitch was talking about last week if you quick quick plug because this is going to be our final episode of not only the reaction but also our aftermath if you don't know what the aftermath is it is a uh, sort of like a podcast like breakdown um <clears throat> series I do with the Basden brothers, Mitch and Alex. Um, it has been an honor to work with them throughout this past two months on this like little podcast show, which we have a big announcement about later, but we're not. I won't talk about it now. But yeah, like we talk everything about Star Wars, talk everything about the Mandalorian, break it down, make theories, and just we talk about it and we en we enjoy doing it. Um, and yeah, our final episode is coming out in the next few days, so keep an eye on that. But Mitch was saying I want an episode 
that is long, but it goes so quick that it's just, it flies by. And that episode flew by like no tomorrow. Let's talk about um, that first, I, yeah, first encounter with that dark trooper. Ooh, just fear. Um, amazing. I absolutely loved it. And just, yeah, like Din getting this, like, f like slinging the spear out and just like spearing it. Oh, hoo hoo. Girl, my simp was coming out again, but I was holding back this episode. Yeah, that, that moment where Din enters, I was like, oh yeah, Grogu's gonna be there. And then just Moff Gideon's like holding the dark saber over him. I was like, why? Like, how could you look at a creature that cute and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kill it. No. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I love that, like, because Moff Gideon, even though we don't know much about him, he's so sinister. You don't know what he's gonna do. And I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and just, yeah, like, even that moment where he's like, you can take the child. I have what I have now. And, or have what I wanted. And then he just turns around and goes, ah! And then, obviously, he can't, because Beskar. Um, <laughs> just like, nah, boy, you can't do it. Um, but yeah, I saw, I saw the ship. I saw the ship, the x thing, and I was like, that is Luke. It is nobody else but Luke. And I was actually really surprised by the fact that they actually CGI'd his face on, which I mean, like, that's quite, like, like, surprising. I thought they would have just gotten someone, like, example, Sebastian Stan, to come in and be like, like, you know, like him. But I wonder who they actually got to stand in for him. And just, again, it's Luke. Like, I was like, it has to be Luke. It can't be anybody else. Hi. And yeah, that moment where Grogu looked at Din, I was like, oh, wait, he's going to have to leave. And yeah, it's just like, ah! so yeah, I just didn't expect him to leave. I was like, oh, cool. Like Grogu's back and da da da. Maybe they go off and do something. I don't know. But then like Luke came to save the day. So then it was like, oh, Grogu's going to leave now. And just, oh. And Din, the character development that we've had for him these past two seasons, especially this season, was beautiful. So good. And especially because I know a lot of people are saying, there are filler episodes in The Mandalorian. But no, I don't think there is. Especially because when it is those filler episodes, those are very, like, character-driven episodes. Especially, like, last episode, where it was, like, people saying filler, but it's not. It's character development time because it's not like, we're not delving into the big deep dive of the story. We're taking a moment to like explore some character traits or like explore like character development moments. And I didn't expect, I like, I was like, people were hoping that the helmet would come off. I was like, maybe like again in a fight or something. But at the same time, like the fact that like, oh, like, he, he took it off, like, once, like, Grogu put his little head to Din's cheek and Din just took it, huh. And just, the emotion, like, again, like, Pedro, this is another, like, person who does it well. Sebastian Stan does it well, and now that I've seen Pedro play Din, I know he can do it as well. Just emotions in the eyes and in just an expression without words. Like, cause, like... He did say a couple of words, obviously, when he was sad, but it's all in the eyes and the face, and that just shows incredible acting. And I swear, if Din, not Din, <laughs> if Pedro doesn't get nominated for, like, I know people say it's like, oh, he's in the seat, blah, 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 but he's doing a lot of work as well. It may not be showing his face, but it's, like, really good acting and I re like he needs a nomination I hope an Emmy or something I think it's an Emmy yeah Emmy um please nominate Pedro Pascal because he was beautiful in this episode like ugh, like guys like they've topped it every single time and just like because we were always saying like on the aftermath that they have to top last season's finale because that was like dark safe everyone was like oh my god like what um yeah Oh, also talking about the dark saber. Wonder what's gonna happen with Bogota now because goddamn, Din's got the dark saber. I didn't actually expect that, but that was a really good surprise because that's also another challenge for Din to kind of handle next season. But also Bogota because obviously it seems like this story is moving towards like with Bogota being more in the show, which I'm really happy about. It's just and three, Artu, Artu was there. I was just like, oh yeah, crying and then ah. 
just so many. I just didn't expect R2 to be there, but then, yeah. And then it seems that Grogu knows R2, so. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe next season. Oh my god, yeah, next season. Next year. Oh! Oh, why? That's so long away. Like, that's exactly like a year away next week. Like, Christmas. Oh. No! <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this magnificent season finale of The Mandalorian. And yeah, a lot of people were like, oh, why is Peyton Reed directing? He's the one who did the ice, like, episode, and that was boring. And I was like, no, it wasn't! Did you see my reaction? I was, like, scared as f you know? Like... No, like, and he does the Ant-Man movies. Everybody loves them. So, uh -uh. don't say anything bad about Peyton because he gave us this. He gave us this gem of an episode. It was so good. Guys, mm -mm. don't you come into my comments and say shit. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm so sad that I have to end this because this is probably the last reaction as well that I'm doing for the end of the year, 2020. Oh, what a year. And also just what a season. Like, oh, uh, it's come so, like, it's gone so quick. I cannot believe it's already the finale. And now we have to wait a year to get eight more episodes. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Casey Fangirl out. Woo!